Hi, I'm Brinley from the Pelham Public Library, and today I'm going to teach teens how to create felt flowers for Mother's Day. Here is what is in your kit that you receive from the library. Green paint in a little tub. A piece of cardboard. Green felt. And a variety of sizes of other felts. Some are long and rectangular, others are square. What you're going to need to provide from home is a pencil or some type of writing device, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, or an X-Acto knife, and a hot glue gun works best, but you can also use white glue. The first thing that we are going to deal with is the shape that you're going to be gluing your flowers onto. I've made one here that's an M for mum. You can pick any letter, you can pick a heart, you can pick a wreath like this. It's totally up to you. Today I'm going to show you how to do an M and I'm just going to sketch that out onto the cardboard. And then I'm going to cut it. So then you're going to cut your shape out of your cardboard. I find it easier personally to use an X-Acto knife with cardboard. It's such a thick material that I find that the X-Acto knife part of it allows it to be more, um, it's easier to utilize. So I'm going to finish cutting out my M. I'll show you again with the scissors. Again, you can do whatever shape you want. If you wanted to do your mom's initial, if you wanted to do a heart, you can do, like I showed you, a wreath. You can really do anything that you would like. So once your shape is cut out, you're going to paint it with the green paint. It's important to do this step first because the green paint is going to need some time to dry and it's probably going to need a second coat on the cardboard. The cardboard absorbs the paint quite a lot and this way if you do a second coat it will be nice and thick so that when you see the shape behind the flowers it will be covering the cardboard color. Okay so I am going to move on to making the flowers. There. I'm going to use the wreath first off just because I already had it painted so it's dry and ready to go. There are three different types of flowers I'm going to show you how to make today. But first I'm going to show you how to make the leaves. You're going to take the green piece of felt that I've given you and fold it in half. You can take a pencil or any type of writing instrument and trace those out. I like to go a little bit more organic and just freehand them, making them all different shapes and sizes. With this size of felt, you should be able to cut out eight leaves or four sets of leaves. Once you've got the leaves cut out, you're just going to clip them in half to give you two equal and identical leaves. So now you're going to see we have this pink one and the blue one are the same type of flower. We're going to make those ones first. So you're going to take one of your rectangular pieces of felt and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to hold it in half so it could be a little bit tricky. You're just going to have to work with it until you've got it. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to make individual cuts, not all the way through. So you're just going to cut it about three quarters of the way down, leaving space where those are attached at the end. 
and you're going to do this along the entire rectangular piece of felt. It doesn't matter if these are equal or even. Flowers in, the, in nature, they grow on their own. They're each individual and different, which is what makes this craft really neat. Please be careful at this point that you don't clip your fingers. I have done it and it hurts. Then you're going to slide your scissors up and you're going to clip along the center of the rectangular square of felt. And then you're going to be left with two individual pieces of felt with the leaves on them. Again, it doesn't matter that they're taller or shorter. It's going to look really neat and really different when you roll it to become the flower. Next, you're going to add a little bead and line of glue along the bottom of your piece of felt. And then you're going to take your fingers and you're going to roll it. And you're going to continue to glue and roll the entire rectangle. Adding glue as you need it to hold it together while you roll. Be careful the glue is hot. You're going to squeeze firmly along the bottom there of the flower, just so that everything stays in place. Then you're gonna take a larger dab of glue along the edge and along the end so that it seals up your flower. Then you're gonna take it, remove any glue from your hands like I had to do, and there's your first flower. You can make as many of these in whatever colors you would like. These types of flowers are the ones that require the rectangular felt. So the next one we're gonna make is similar to the one we just did, but the leaves and the petals on this one are folded. You're going to take another piece of felt and like you did with the first one, fold it in half and make cuts three quarters of the way along the fold. Again, you're going to leave an edge for your glue Now this time, you are not going to clip along the center, and instead you're going to take a bead of glue on either side and push the rectangle together, making it narrower. Just make sure that you take a couple of seconds and really make sure that it's attached. It's going to make the next bit of your project much easier. We're then going to take a bead of glue and you're going to put it along the edge and like you did with the pink flower you're going to roll it. Add in glue and pressure as needed. I've decided to clip off the glue part of my flower so that I can make them smaller. You can easily take your individual rectangles and cut them in half and that will change the size and the thickness of your flower. I wanted to make two in this color because blue is one of my mom's favorite colors. And there you have it. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make the rosettes. I've got two here on my original M. You're going to take a square piece of felt in whatever color you would like, and you're going to cut the corners off to make a circle. Again, you can use something to trace a circle. It truly doesn't matter. Flowers are all different shapes and are organically different. So just taking your scissors, you're going to cut a spiral into your felt. Then you're going to take the original end and just clip it off to give you a flat surface to be able to roll from. 
Next, you're going to roll the felt like we have been doing before. Obviously, I find it easier to put a little bit of glue and then that way if it does slip like it just did for me, it is not gonna unravel. You're just gonna roll it all the way along the spiral. Okay, next you're going to take a dab of glue to finish it off and you'll be left with the bottom of the flower looking like this. You can pull things down and move things around before you put the glue on. Then you're going to put glue quite a large bit into the middle of the flower and you're going to press down the center of the spiral along the bottom. While the glue's warm, you can monkey around with things until you get it perfect how you would like it. And there's our rosette. I've also given you small squares, again, to make a smaller rosette. You're gonna cut off the corners to make a circle. And you're going to do the same thing that you just did with the purple piece or whatever color you would like. Just to let you know, as the spirals get smaller, they do tend to get a little bit more difficult to work with, but it's just felt and using the hot glue will help keep things together and easier to maneuver. With this flower, you're going to see that I'm not happy with the bottom, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim that off. And there you've got a small rosette. You might need to use your hot glue to touch up any leaves that have come apart, or if the felt has come apart, just before you glue it onto your shape. Make sure you give it a firm press and it should stick together just fine. Now I'm gonna take all of the flowers that I made. I only made five. You're more than welcome to use every piece of felt that I've provided. If you've got more felt at home, use that. And I'm going to, now I'm going to lay out my flowers and my leaves onto my wreath, just for an example, so that I know how I'm going to glue it on and so that I like the placement of everything. Once I get a placement of flowers that I like, I'm going to take them off one by one and individually glue them onto my wreath. And that is the final craft. I will show you what my M looks like beside my wreath. Just some different colors. You're more than welcome to pick any color you would like and make whatever flower you would like from it. Hopefully you've learned a new skill and hopefully this is something that you're gonna be able to do in other projects. 